Alright guys, hey Zink here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So in this one we're going to be taking a look and a bit of detail at Gen, right? We're going to have a look at his kit and kind of try and predict what type of character he's going to be, where he's going to be useful and stuff like that. Now again, with these things, because we don't actually have access to like a proper trial mode or anything like that, where you can take them out and do bosses and stuff with them, it's, it's really hard to say until a little bit of time's passed exactly where this unit is going to excel the most but we can make a few predictions looking at his kit anyway um, so let's go over his kit okay now his kit is a bit of a goddamn encyclopedia so I'm going to try my best to just condense the elements of it so that we're not just talking and talking and talking <laughs> that pop up this is an utter disgrace it's not talking about the unit the unit actually seems pretty good okay so first of all what is Gen's role Okay. Now, for me, looking at his kit, he is basically a, a bossing, damage boosting unit, right? So, even though this other unit does more than just bosses, think of predominantly where people use Street Poison. You see Street Poison being used in a lot of teams to really boost the scores and bosses and things like that. This is where I would expect to really see this unit shining, okay? And most of it comes from their super attack. And... To be honest, because of how this guy's super attack actually is, it makes me wonder if he is going to show up in a very specific team, but we'll talk about that in a second. So first of all, I'm going to need to read through this one, right? So, Tyoist Gen can switch between Heavenly Crane and Earthly Mantis. So basically, he'll do one, then he'll do the next one, do one, then the next one. So it's no random, he'll go from one to the other, okay? By unleashing a super combo, Tyrus Ken starts with in the battle in Heavenly Crane, and after unleashing a super combo, he will switch styles and refill his super combo gauge by 250, right? So you're going to get combo boost off of this guy as well, you're going to get gauge off of this guy, which is massive, meaning you can start combos earlier if you're using them, especially for some boss battles. Ooh, that could really make things go a lot higher is what we're going to say so heavenly crane this is what he starts out in he increases damage reduction by 30 percent so for that first turn you'll take less damage earthly mantis increases damage bonus by 30 percent so for that next turn you'll do 30 percent more damage okay now more damage is actually better than like more attack because it's actually a calculation on the final damage total so that is better in my opinion anyway I think most people would agree with that. Level 2 uh, increases to 40% buffs on both. And level 3, upon switching styles, you will fill the super combo gauge by 350 and restore HP equal to 180% of attack to all friendly fighters. That, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. You're going to get gauge and heal from starting off those combos. Okay? Again, could be absolutely massive and monumental. Now, we're going to talk about the other skills. I feel like this guy is predominantly going to use this, okay? I feel like when we find the strategy for this guy, I think it's going to be this that you use, okay? Now, let's just go ahead and look at these other ones anyway, okay? This one, two different styles. We're not going to really go over them. Increases damage and healing of Heavenly Descent to 168% of attack. Increases the damage of Earthly Descent to 280% of attack. So one style you do one, the other style you do the other, okay? And again, it just increases the healing and the damage on the level 3. There's no point in going over it because, you know, it's same shit, different day. Level 2, right, this one seems to be bugged at the moment. You can tell in trial, if you've done trial, you, you might be able to tell about this. Um, it seems to be bugged, it's not really working properly, so... They're probably going to need to look into that, but what I would, would say is, for me, I don't even necessarily think that this guy's going to need this. Again, time will tell, but I've just got a feeling that we're going to see a very specific team build with this guy. Um, so if we move down here, we can see that, it, again, it's two styles in the first style. He will summon a talisman behind the rearmost fighter, a bit like standard um again at the moment. The talisman then flies forward increasing the damage reduction of all friendly fighters it touches by 10% and restoring HP equal to 12% of attack to them every second for 10 seconds. Also apply heavenly hex to the friendly fighter with the highest attack for 15 seconds if the affected fighter deals damage equal to 1000% of their attack before heaven hex expires remove heaven hex and increase the affected fighter's attack by 20% for 10 seconds. Well that's a lot of text. 
When an Earthly Mantis style, unleash Earthly Curse to deal damage equal to 576% of attack to the enemy with the highest attack, and inflict Earth Hex on the target for 15 seconds. Earth Hex reduces the target's attack by 15% and is removed when the target has had 1000% of their attack or whatever, right. See here it's increased by 25% and 20% and at the bottom damage reduction 20%, right. Again, don't care, don't think it's going to be used all that often. Passive. Oh, Jesus Christ. So they, so they can switch between modes. Heavenly Aura increases the damage reduction of other fighters by 20%, uh, as we know, and Earthly Aura damage bonus 20%, right? Now, this actually goes up, right? So if we see it here, while Heavenly Aura is active, and not change, sorry, it adds more, add 10% lifesteal. When Earthly Aura is active, increase the crit rate by 10%. When Talus Gen takes fatal damage for the first time, shatter his aura to negate that instance of damage and produce an effect dependent on the type of aura shattered. Unleash the super combo again to restore the aura. Restore HP equal to 420% of attack, if in your in heavenly aura that is, to friendly fighters in an area, and increase lifesteal rate of all friendly fighters by 20% until the end of battle. So it quite clearly states there, clear, restore HP in an area, but increase lifesteal rate of all, right? So, two different effects, basically. Earthly Aura, deal damage equal to 420% of attack to all enemies in an area and increase the crit rate of all friendly fighters by 20% until the end of battle. And finally, when it's maxed, the full battlefield. You don't have that in an area anymore. You've got that. It's the entire battlefield, so no more restrictions of small area of attacks, right? So that's pretty big, right? Now, before we go ahead and talk about where I think this unit's probably going to get used okay but we need to see if it'll actually work first but i think it will we'll look at their garage and then we'll look at their fighting spirit and then we'll talk about where i see this unit predominantly probably being used okay but i just need to test one thing before we do that and then that way we'll know for sure if it's going to be viable or not right so with his cars upon switching to heavenly aura increase the healing received by 35% for 15 seconds, so you'll heal them for 150% of attack. And at 6-6, six, six, Earthly Aura, increase the crit rate by 80% for 15 seconds and deal damage equal to 150% of attack to all enemies. That's pretty good, right? Pretty good. Definitely got good cards there. Um, there's no arguments from me on that one. Let's look at his equipment. Um, upon wishing Heavenly Descent or Heavenly Curse, the fighters... Heal rate by 5% until the end of battle, up to a maximum of 20%. Upon unleashing Earthly Descent or Earthly Curse, increase this fighter's crit rate by 5% until the end of battle, up to a maximum of 20%. It doesn't really matter as much because that's his crit rate. We're not really caring about what he's doing himself, it's more what he's doing for the team, right? So I don't care too much about that. His assist takes effect when he's in an assist position. Grant the assisted fighter a buff when they enter battle for the first time. The buff alternates between increasing damage reduction by 20% and increasing damage bonus by 20%, with each effect lasting for 10 seconds before alternating, starting with the damage reduction effect. Um, I mean, I could see that being decent, like getting 10% additional damage what every second combo it would be. Um, I could see that being useful. Whether that would take precedent over some other assists, I don't know, but hey, it could be useful. Unlocked at 10. Upon unleashing Tenchi Aura, increase the damage of all friendly fighters combo free by 20% for 5 seconds. It's definitely going to lead into the team that I think he's probably going to be on. Unlocked at 20. Upon unleashing Heavenly Descent or Heavenly Curse, increase this fighter's healing rate by 8% until the end of battle, up to a maximum of 32. Upon unleashing Descent or Curse, increase this fighter's crit rate by 8% until the end of battle. Now it says his crit rate, so again, I don't think that one matters too much. Upon unleashing Tenshi Aura, increase the damage of all friendly fighters combo free by 50% for 5 seconds. Huge, right? 50% additional damage on combo free. Right, so I think this unit has got a very strong possibility of, maybe, I'm not saying definitively, we need to see how it works, but maybe replacing Honda in the Ronda setup. Um, I just want to see how quickly he does his super combo because um, that will probably dictate whether or not he's going to be that viable to do this. So I'm just going to move myself to just see how quickly the action actually is here. So we'll take it off. Didn't mean to do that. So we'll just let that finish. Let that finish. Um, I don't think have either of these two units got a combo one because if they've not, that's extremely unfortunate. They've not given us units that have a combo one. They do, right? 
that seems pretty quick. I mean, it does seem like his, his super combo does go pretty quickly and allows you to immediately get the next action. Yeah, so I could totally see that working. Right, so I think this guy's probably got a strong chance. Again, we'll need to see how the numbers play out. But I think he's got a strong chance of replacing Ronda in the the Ronda setup, basically. Which, if you don't, if you guys don't know, um, you, you've you've not been looking at leaderboards. If you don't know, basically, it's Rio Honda into Street Poison into Flame Chun Li into um, Flame Adon. Uh, it does like massive damage. Part of the reason is quickness and various other things like build and gauge. Um, but he can do that, so he can build gauge, he can alternate between damage reduction, so you're going to get damage reduction half the time, which considering how RNG those fights tend to be, and how quickly you're moving between combos, um, I think he probably will fill that role, but he's going to be giving you a lot more damage output. A lot more damage output especially if you've gotten built to his fighting spirit 30 unlike honda who is actually detrimental to you if you've gotten built to fighting spirit 30 this guy is going to increase the damage of your combo free by an additional 50 percent now remember he's already going to be doing additional damage every second turn he's going to be giving you that additional damage boost every like second turn because it's going to alternate between damage reduction damage boost damage reduction damage boost so every second turn he's going to do that. But if he's at Fighting Spirit 30, he's going to give combo free 50% additional damage. And what's combo free? Combo free is going to be your flame Adon. So theoretically, the numbers should go higher because he's doing more. So the numbers in theory should go higher and honestly, significantly higher. But we're going to have to wait to see if it will actually work in practice because the thing about the Ronda setup is you do require a lot of RNG and survivability and things like that for it to line up. But I don't see any reason why you would not roll for the same RNG with this guy on your team, but having much higher numbers. Now again, the downside is Honda is a shield unit, so he's got higher default defense and stuff like that. So it would be easier for him to survive because of that. Whereas this guy isn't going to have his higher defense stat and stuff. So we're going to have to see if he can actually make his way through to be able to do that. But on paper, theoretically, as long as you survive the fight, this could, this, that, this strategy could. So basically it would be Taoist Ken, eh, sorry, Taoist guy, eh, guy bleh, Taoist Gen, into Street Poison, into Flame Chun-Li, into your um, Flame Adon, and I see no reason, apart from potential survivability issues, why it wouldn't work. But again, we'll really have to wait and see until we've had a bit more of an opportunity to go hands-on with them, and that's when we'll get testing it, that's when we'll get to see if it actually works. In my gut, I feel like it's going to, I seriously feel like it's going to. If not, then he will certainly boost damage on like Team 2s, Team 3s and stuff like that. But I do feel like he's got the potential to slot in there. And we could see that team just taken off into the stratosphere essentially. We'll need to wait and see how it goes. But I do think in my gut just now, he is going to be a good pickup. And I do think he is probably going to appear in the meta. But for bossing. For bossing. So again, what I would say to you is, if you have got tickets and you don't want to wait, which I think you should wait. I do think you should wait. I don't think he would be too much of a gamble because I can totally see use in him. But I feel like you're going to want him at SS, definitely, because of the additional things that cars bring. Um... I do think he's going to be worth picking up, 100%, I do, I feel it in my gut, he's got a lot going for him, big buffs, healing, damage reduction, crit boosting, crit damage boosting, damage boosting, I don't know if he's got crit damage boosting, but he's got damage boosting, he certainly has a lot going for him, and I, I, I'm kind of really leaning towards saying that he's probably one of the best divination units that they have released for quite a while, but again, this is 
gut check moments here. This is like the gut reaction to what this unit seems like on the surface. Clearly, clearly that can evolve. We can find out different things. Maybe he's not as good on paper. We've seen that before. Maybe he's better than he looks on paper. But I just feel like this guy has definitely got the potential to shake things up. And if you are a free to play player and we do find out he's good, I need you to remember something. Literally, the score, well, maybe if you're a free to play player, mm, Dolphin, if you're a Dolphin, the score on your Flame Adon team can win you the entire event. It can, flat out. The score on your Flame Adon team can win you the entire event. The last boss we thought, thought I got just under 8 billion on that team alone. And my total score was under 9 billion, right? And I bet the person below me by like four billion. So you can literally win an entire event, an entire four team event with that setup. And if it turns out he does put out a lot more damage, then the potential is there for it to be another Flame Chun Lee situation where this one unit could really shake things up for you. I would just wait just now until we get a little bit more hands on information on does it work? Will he survive? And if the answer to those two questions is yes, which ultimately there's no reason it shouldn't work, it's just the will he survive part that needs to be answered. But he boosts damage that much, he might actually get those numbers up there quicker that he might not need to survive as long. We're just going to have to wait and see. But my gut reaction is he's going to be a good unit, a very, very solid unit, predominantly seen being used in Boston. Um, but yeah, I think, again, looking good, looking good. Anyway, I've been Hazink, thanks for watching, catching the next one. Peace!